Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the transform tools inside of Rec Room with your Maker Pen. So you can basically use a whole bunch of tools inside of your Maker Pen to transform the way a shape is inside of your room. So you can use the Rotate, you can use the Move tool, and there's just a lot of tools. So today we're going to be covering all of the main ones. And yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this. Also, if you're joining for the first time today, make sure to click in the description. There is a playlist which has the first ever video of this series. I highly recommend you starting from the start because it does help you along the way on how to create shapes. But without further ado, let's get straight into this. So I'm going to open up the Maker Pen and I'm going to detach it so you can see it. And we're running into our first problem with the tutorial. Mr. Happy is in the way. We can't actually see the screen because he's in the way. So we're going to have to first of all move him so that I can show you the rest of the tutorial. So to move Mr. Happy, what we need to do is we need to open up our Maker Pen. We need to click on the Move button over here. So just click on that with your finger or the Maker Pen. And now we're in the Move mode. So as I showed you in the last video, if you need to move a whole bunch of items, you can use the select tool because Mr. Happy is a whole bunch of shapes. He's got some eyes and he's got the circle. We're going to need to use the select tool to select everything on him. And then we can use the, may, uh, the move tool to move him. So now that we've selected him, we're going to click on the move tool over here. And once we click on this, you'll notice a few shapes pop up on Mr. Happy. Now, this is a very important part of the video. I need to make sure that I tell this to you before we start moving. There are two types of ways you can move a shape inside of Rec Room. You have your world space and you also have the direct shape like movement. So if I go over here, I'm going to show you a little bit close up over here. In the top part of this menu, you have a toggle called world space. World space basically allows you to move the shape around in the world. So this is set to a certain grid. It's always going to be the same for every shape. Whereas if we turn this off, it changes with the shape. So it's basically the way the shape is pointing. I recommend building with world space on if you're trying to get everything nice and neat, but it is subjective to certain situations. So let me demonstrate. So as you can see here, if I move Mr. Happy forwards with the move tool, so I grab the trigger, point it towards the red. If you're using computer, you just grab it with your mouse. You can see Mr. Happy moves this way when world space is turned on, right? But when I turn on world or when I turn world space off, you'll notice that he moves in a different location. So you can see he's going forwards, it's, he's going his own way. So his version of straight is different to the world space. So we turn world space on, you can see the arrows do change slightly. If I turn it off and on regularly, I'll show you this, see how they move slightly? So there is a difference. So if you're noticing that things aren't lining up, make sure to check that out. World space is 100% going to be doing something with the way you move your shape. So let's move Mr. Happy out of the way. So I'm going to simply use the Maker Pen. I'm going to point it towards the green arrow. This is the Y axis and I'm going to move him down. Awesome. So Mr. Happy is now out of the way and I can show you the menu. If we want to move him sideways, we can select the blue, which is the Z axis. You can see we're using the Z. And if you want to move him the other way, that's the X axis. That's the red one. So you can see we're moving that one that way. So now that we've done that, I'm going to move him up. I know we're covering the menu. We're going to now start talking about the snapping settings. So in move right now, because I have a certain type of snapping, you'll see that when I grab the circle, or sorry, Mr. Happy, he snaps to a certain grid. And we can do a few things about this. We can either turn that off. So in my first video, we, I showed you this. We can turn snapping off at the very top. Now he will move smoothly on a grid like this. You see there's no snapping. He just moves smoothly. And this is kind of useful if you need precise movements. If you do need to, uh, you know, snap things together, I highly recommend using grid. You can see grid. Amazing. It snaps to a grid. Now, let's say we actually want to be more specific with the snapping of the grid. You'll notice that I'm going to move this menu closer so we can see it. We have a position snap at the very bottom. We're going to slide that across. So what does this mean? Well, it basically changes how much the shape will snap to a position on the grid now. So you see, if I move this circle up, look at that. Look at how much that gap is now, the snapping. So we can actually change the way we move the shape by changing the snapping. For now, I'm going to set that lower just so it's a little bit easier to move Mr. Happy. So you can see the lower it is, the easier it is to move. The higher it is, the more it snaps and the less you have to move. So this one's going to be, we can't even see it. It's, it's, too, it's too much. I'm going to have to undo that because that's a bit too much. But yeah, 
let's move Mr. Happy out of the way again. So let's go on to rotate. Rotate is very similar to moving in the fact that you can now move the shape in a certain direction or like just you, you can rotate it uh, you can't really change that so we have a few settings we have a uh, rotate around pivot and rotate in place so when they're both off you'll notice that mr happy will just rotate normally he's all happy that sort of stuff when we change rotate around pivot on it will rotate around the pivot point of what you created now i'm not too good with pivot points but you can see that the pivot point isn't even like visible it's like all the way down there so you can actually change where the pivot point is because that's a bit difficult i'm not going to be showing you that but you'll notice that when i go to rotate mr happy now he's rotating around that pivot he's just gonna spin around that pivot like that you can see he just goes around like that and yeah so that's rotating around the pivot now if I turn that off and go to rotate in place this is a bit different so I'm gonna have to demonstrate with multiple shapes so I may as well do that now uh, we'll talk about cloning in a different video but I'm gonna just grab two Mr. Happies next to each other and let's just select them both with the select tool and move them back now I'm gonna move them with world space because that's just the easier way to do it and let's move the camera so you can see the two Mr. Happies Awesome. So when I use, and I'm going to move this out so you can see it again behind them, I think might be easy. Um, it's a bit messy. When I use the rotate in place, you'll notice oh, the menu's in the way. That's a okay. Let's just move that out of the, what has happened to my hands? There we are. So when we use rotate in place, notice how they rotate in place. So you see the two Mr. Happies, they spin around. So that is rotate in place. If we turn rotate in place off, you'll notice that they'll both rotate together around the central ball, the rotation ball. So we'll spin this around, see how they spin together now. So that is not rotating in place and rotating in place allows them to rotate in place. I know that sounds super, but it's very important to understand that concept because it's really useful when you're trying to move stuff. I spent weeks trying to figure out why my rotations weren't working and it is this rotate in place setting. So that is very important. Now, like the snapping settings, if we scroll down, we have rotation snap. So that's just basically if you want your rotation to snap to like a axis, like it, it just like if you want it to precisely move, uh, rotate. So if we turn up our rotation snap, keeping in mind that our snapping is on grid, you'll see that when I rotate the ball, they snap. So see how they're, they're snapping. If I turn snapping off, you'll see that they'll freely rotate. There's nothing restricting them from rotating. So that's about it for today. If you did enjoy this video and you found it really helpful, I would appreciate it if you liked the video and also subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you do want to check out my older videos or new videos in this series to teach you creating more in Rec Room, definitely check the playlist, which is down in the description below. Um, and yeah, if you do want to create inside of the game, I run events, which you can join, Makerspace events, which you can see through my profile. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya!